it was well attended, very dynamic. Toronto is a great and vibrant city as well. Um, so I had a great time meeting, you know, all the colleagues, the collaborators. Um, the first feeling you get is that in the industry hall, there is so much excitement and um, enthusiasm in all the industry hall, all the sponsors. You can really feel that radio pharmaceutical, mostly driven by all the radio pharmaceutical therapy, new companies, acquisition, uh, merging, uh, creation of new companies, companies becoming public. You see, there is a lot of excitement, a lot of, you know, uh, resources, investments. So it's very, very dynamic and vibrant uh, environment. So everybody seemed happy and had so many projects. So um, really exciting times for radiopharmaceutical therapy and nuclear medicine as a whole. at the nuclear medicine meeting, such as at the European nuclear medicine meeting, it's always exciting to see all the new targets, new radionuclide being used preclinically and also in humans. Um, I would say that, you know, the abstract of the year for 2024, it was the PSMF4, so the main Novartis phase three randomized trial in pre-chemotherapy MCRPC patients comparing lutetium PSMF617 versus an AR targeted agent switch. So it's a major trial. So there was an update. They reported on the um, the non-superiority, non-difference between the two arms in terms of overall survival. So we still need to wait a little bit more uh, to see this data being submitted to the, to the FDA, I think by the end of the year. Uh, but it's great to see radiopharmaceutical therapy based uh, trials you know, presented at the SNMMI, it really highlights, you know, the value of and the all the excitement and the advancement of nuclear medicine field as a whole um, year after year. So that was a that was a great thing. Now, still many multiple new abstract on FAP, on carbonic anhydrase nine as a target, um, especially for renal cancer imaging and potentially therapy more and more actinium and led to one to base radionuclide uh, therapy approach a lot of dosimetry hands-on you know uh, sessions a lot of dosimetry focused talks so for me as a nuclear medicine physician it's uh, it's really nice to uh, to be able to attend to and see all of that <laughs>